when, you know, seeing the draw, seeing where I could fall in the qualifying spots, it was, uh, I was like, I was like, obviously, you know, I'd, I'd want a different draw, but I was like, I wouldn't mind, you know, playing Roger maybe in the second round, and then I, I fell into that half. That's why, you know, we play tennis to play on occasions like that, you know, not like small events, you know, to play on a packed stadium uh, against against one of the greats. So it's, you know, it's an opportunity to show how good, how good you really are. Stepping on the court and, and going to play Roger was obviously you know you idolize him as, as a as a kid everyone does. I mean before the match he was kind of playing a little mind games, telling me like after all the times we practiced and you know him wanting me to sign at his agency and whatnot. Yeah, you know, he's he's like, hey, I'm Roger Federer, nice to meet you. Like five minutes before he playing, and I was like, oh, this guy's messing with my head. I go I go tell my team. In five minute warm obviously they called me out. You know I was helping coming. Not that much to tell, and him, you know, at the time, 18 grand slams and crowd shaking as, as he's walking on court. And you're like, all right, like, good thing the crowd's with me today. <laughs> I played a, played a good match, you know, I put a put a good fight in. Um, you know, after it was like two all, three two, I got my feet wet and and, and forgot that it was Roger Federer was trying to play the match. The fact that in in a breaker it got a little surreal. I was like. Uh, and there's no way about it when it's set against Roger Federer. Uh, and then, and obviously, you know, obviously he takes it, which, I mean, is standard, but. <laughs> I mean, he had a lot of good things to say after the match. You know, just saying for me, keep working. He's been following me, which meant a lot, obviously. Yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. Experience.